So, okay. nice coffee, early in the morning. Somebody want to talk to, make sure that I'm awake. I've got lots of questions for this. a lot of coffee. <laughs> you know what? They make good coffee. I know, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I really, really thought it was going to be bad, but it's not bad at all. Very good. Um, listen, okay, you are? I am Craig Leonard. I am the Minister of Government Services. Is that what you are now? I am indeed. So, uh, let's go back a little bit. Sure. You were Minister of Energy. Yes. Nice office. Nice, you were in the building. And yeah. You had a good relationship with the staff. Absolutely. Everything Absolutely. was fine. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, why did you get, get out the back door or the front door or whatever? What happened there? Well, I think that uh, we had a job to do when, uh, when I came into Energy, which was to deliver a, a 10 year energy policy for the province to to uh, you know make some make some changes at MB power to get things on track uh, making sure that we were going to be able to deliver on our rate freeze for the next uh, for the next two years and um, and take care of some issues such as natural gas prices uh, large industrial electricity prices and uh, and most importantly uh, to get uh, the, the LaPro project back on track so uh, basically within 18 months we we delivered a 10-year energy policy we got MD power on track to where they're having their best uh, best year that they've ever had uh, the point the pro project uh, when we reset the timelines when we came in uh, we're now right on track with those timelines for a fall 2012 startup 2012 fall yeah this, so this, start, fall, this, this fall. fall yeah uh, we uh, we introduced new legislation for natural gas pricing, and uh, yeah, you almost got hung for that. How uh, how what's how come people are so? I mean, I got a nice picture of you and uh, Mr. Bird. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I don't know if I can have a picture yeah. and that again. <laughs> what's what's the bottom line? Is it just big shareholders pissed off because they're going to make less less money? Well, I think, you know, what we've been saying all along is that when we came in, we, we knew there was an issue with the natural gas distribution system. Uh, we took the time to, to look at it. We knew that there's some, some changes were going to have to take place. So we took the, we took the first year or two to sit down and have discussions with Enbridge to try to come to some solution. Uh, we weren't able to get to that point, and so we had to bring in uh, Bill 18. Which basically just resets the uh, the model that we've been using uh, over the last ten years in New Brunswick. That's really has has failed, and uh, and has led to the highest natural gas prices in North America, mm -hmm. while gas is at set at really low prices out in the open market. So, basically, the the whole concept of it is is that we needed to see some some uh, rates decreasing to to provide some initiative for uh, or incentive. Sorry. Uh, for customers to uh, to start joining the system to get enough customers on where Enbridge's revenues would actually uh, get to the point that they need to cover all their costs. But they're pissed. We didn't see that happening in the, in the existing model. Listen, yeah. going from an activist, I guess the sale of NB Power, to minister of mm -hmm. NB Power, what did you learn? Um, I mean, before you arrived there, you didn't know really. They show you the books and everything, so... Yeah, yeah, no, well, you know, I think that was part of the reason why I was probably chosen to, to be energy minister is because I had, uh, I had done quite a bit of work in terms of looking at the finances of the utility mm -hmm. and certainly that, uh, that's what led to my, my belief that the, the, the idea of selling the utility to Hydro-Quebec was not a good idea. So part. after you see the numbers, do you think we should sell it to no, not at all. You, come on, come on, give me a you, scoop here. Give well, me a scoop here before you, before you, you see go. the results that we're coming out with this year, I mean, that's, yeah, a lot uh, of, it's, it's blatantly obvious that it, it's an incredibly valuable asset. Is it because of the heavy rain that we got? Uh, there's, we're, look, I mean, it's record results. So obviously when you have the best year you've ever had uh, operationally, that means you've had, you know, some, some very good internal uh, operations that have taken place, but you also got some help along the way. Uh, we had we had good hydro flows uh, this year. We had uh, markets that uh, were were quite low in the, the external markets that we were able to buy power from, and uh, but we've also made a lot of changes in, internally as well. We've made some cost reductions, and those cost reductions are continuing on. So you know, when we don't see the hydro flows as good as they've been, and when we might see some increases in the external markets, 
our goal is to make sure that we're keeping our costs internally as low as possible to, to offset some of those changes so that we can continue to have some, some good okay. solid years. So the numbers, what did you, what, what really surprised you when you arrived there and you were introduced to the bureaucrats of NB Power? What, well, what surprised you? Uh, well, nothing really surprised oh, me. Come on, I'm going to do something. They would have said, oh my God, I didn't know that. Well, it's just like Jean Chrétien with the GST. I'll eliminate the, the GST. Once he looks at the numbers, oh, we can't do that. Well, no, what, what was blatantly clear to me was that these were people who had just been through probably the worst two years that they've been through uh, in, in their professional careers. I mean, they, they had a shareholder who was constantly saying publicly, uh, what a drain they were on, on the province. I mean, I think the term albatross was used uh, at some point. And so, you know, you had a group of people who just were not, uh, you know, they didn't really have any direction being provided to them on where they were going. So that was the big challenge we had was to come in and, you know, we've been saying it all along is that we want it to any power run like a business. And so, you know, there was probably hesitation at first, obviously, you know, well, just another group of politicians coming in. Um, but I think if you ask the, the, the management and the board at any power, what you'll find is that they'll, they'll readily admit that what, uh, what we did when we came in was tell them that, you know, we're not, going to, uh, we're not going to get in your way of doing what needs to be done to get this business operating as profitably as possible. Do you know what a bureaucrat calls a politician, especially a minister? <laughs> if I really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Temporary help. That's, well, that's, that's probably a pretty apt it's description. Just, here, you were there for 18 months, that's <laughs> it. Mr. Leonard, Mr. Leonard, yeah. they make you feel like a king. 18 yeah. months later, gone. Okay, next yeah, one. Yeah, Margaret Ann Blaney now? Yeah, yeah. You know, and Margaret Ann, uh, Minister Blaney will do a, she'll do a fantastic job there. Yeah, it should be interesting. So what did you learn in NB Power? Just any final word for what uh, bad, no. anything bad, anything good? What's, what's the bad part about NB Power? Well, the, the, there's, I mean, as with any company, there's always areas that you can improve on, right? And that's, that's what our goal is. is like what? Oh, look, I mean, uh, I don't think there's any question that uh, years and years of, of Political uh, political interference in there has uh, has you know caused a caused a cultural you know, that basically is not always you know focused on you know uh, innovation reducing costs that type of thing. I think we've brought that along considerably over the last eighteen months so that they're always going to be looking for ways to improve um, because hopefully what the message that they're getting is is that we can finally do what needs to be done to to operate uh, in, in a manner that we should be operating. And that we won't always have to be looking over our shoulder uh, to see, you know, to make sure that the politicians are okay with what we're doing. And and frankly, I mean, I don't think anybody can argue with with what they're doing when they're providing uh, the province with, uh, with 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 the with the numbers that Envy Power is putting out this year. So. I got a question for you. How sure. um, a lot of questions. Um, <laughs> think it's a good idea when Nova Scotia did to privatize uh, their power. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, you know. Non unionized, right? Non unionized there. Yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think you've got, uh, 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 you can't compare Nova Scotia and New Brunswick uh, with the way they're set up now. Why did they sell it? Do you know? Uh, that's a good question, you know. Um, you know, you'd have to ask them basically. <laughs> so you don't think it's a good idea? You can't compare it? Okay. No, you know, I think what you've got to look at is the situation New Brunswick's in, which is, you know, we've got a, a, a utility that for the next 10 years really isn't going to require any, any major capital investments. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a low cost to produce electricity. Uh, you know, we've got, a, we've got a team that's in place that, that understands the business and is extremely well positioned. You know, you just have to look at the fact that, you know, we've got a three-year rate freeze in place. Everybody said that, you know, I mean, we were crazy to put a Are they going to go double the rate one after three years? Uh, oh, God, no. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. I like yeah. that. Usually, David Howard is absolutely not, or oh, God, no. No, I mean, that. our forecast was very clear. You know, we had a three year rate freeze. Uh, when the rate freeze comes off, we're projecting about increase of in the vicinity of 2% for the next uh, for the next eight years That's after it. that. So, um, but you have to look at, you know, what Nova Scotia is dealing with is, is it, almost, it mirrors what we've, what we've uh, potentially uh, have avoided in, in New Brunswick where, you know, you've got a big part of their electricity demand is, has been coming from large, uh, large industry, forestry in particular. Uh, they've had a number of those, uh, those facilities closed down. And over the last year, I believe it's nine percent that the that the rates in Nova Scotia have increased. 
so that's why we were trying to take some proactive steps in New Brunswick to ensure that you know the energy costs are not an issue for okay. for a large industry. And that's uh, so far so good. It's going to work now. As former minister of energy, did you see the blueprint of the Metaclite dam? The blueprint of for the, the dam itself? Yeah. No, I haven't seen no? the actual you haven't seen blueprint. It? No. no. They say uh, if it blows up or gets destroyed, they'll be at the top of the doom of the legislator. Then NBC will be on top, and everybody had to read. There, my don't answer that. Uh, so anyway, what no, I'm saying, no, no. No, <laughs> is the dam safe? Is yes. is it for how much longer? Uh, basically, the reports that we have now says the dam will have to be replaced by 2028. 2028. Yeah. So uh, so operationally, it's fine for for another. 16, 16 years, and again, that's that's engineering estimate. You got a future for you got a future for twenty twenty eight. Basically, what we're looking at right now is you know uh, in, engineering work is starting to be done on on what you know different options for the facility will be. Uh, you know that's a, that's a business decision for down the road whether whether or not it gets rebuilt, whether or not it gets decommissioned. If it does get rebuilt, is it? Does MB Power do it? Does we do we look at a different not different way to finance it? So I mean these are all these are all business decisions that are going to take place down the road. Okay. All right.